If I could be a little honest with you guys, um, I'm not very excited about this one. Not at all. Not one bit. Number 26. Wow, really? Ooh, hell yeah, guys. Finally, we pulled something significant. <laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome to another epic unboxing, I guess. But uh, yes, we are here with the latest and greatest set, I guess. Well, technically it's a, it's a reprint set, so it's not really the latest because it's, it's a reprint. But we are here with the Battle of Legends, chapter one, because we got to make more than one chapter of this. Uh, I'm not even sure what it contains. We're, we're going to read a little bit about it later. But uh, the one thing I will say about this, it comes with a die, which is pretty cool. I love dies. Uh, apparently, you definitely want the, uh, the Luster Soldier die. At least I want it. The other big thing here, of course, is this crack at the astral language version of the number 39 Utopia. Utopia. <laughs> I always pronounce it as Utopia, but it's actually, yeah, Utopia. Let's go ahead and look around at the box a little bit. And then, uh, you know, we have the luster soldier. He's very lustery. And the front, of course, I don't, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below who that is. And of course, in the back, we have the, uh, the, the potential dies you get, as well as that card of the astral language, which is it's not even a playable card, is it? Can, can, can you even use that card in like combat? I, like in combat, in, in a duel? I don't know, I feel like that's a, it's a collectible card, I guess, but is it even playable? Let me know as well in the comments. But yes, I did pick up a couple of these boxes. I pretty much didn't want to get a full display of this. I, like uh, I had no, no, no reason to get a display, but I got a couple of these boxes. Uh, but who knows, maybe they'll surprise me. They'll, they'll surprise me. Since it's such a small set, uh, I went ahead and got a couple of my older legend cards. I got the Brothers of Legend packs I right here, as well as the Battle of Legends Monstrous Revenge. I didn't have any of the uh, the, the Crystal Revenge ones, but I did have a, uh, a one pack pull. Definitely check that out if you haven't already done so. And some of the miscellaneous cards that I got in here is the Maximum Gold, which is kind of, you know, a collector's reprint set. And another reprint, of course, of the metal raiders now the one thing i want to point out real quick uh, i might talk about it more so it, it later later on but i kind of want to do a versus of these two sets but uh, we'll talk about it towards the end of the video but yeah just, just a little bit about this collector set is what they're classifying it it's the return of the long-awaited monsters like the number 90 Ga galaxy eye proton lord and the chaos emperor the dragon of the armageddon uh, we have the of course the utopia 39 and then we have Cyber Dragon, Judgment Dragon, as well as the Elemental Hero, Stratos. Uh, each of these right here will have essentially one secret rare, six ultra rares, and 30 comments, and of course, one of six of the collectible die. Now, I guess without further ado, let's check it out. It is part of the 20th anniversary, as per usual. I'm not sure if we're gonna do a chapter two before the 20th anniversary ends, but we better not see like eight years of 25th anniversary <laughs> sets. Can you imagine that guys? If we have like, you know, the 25th anniversary is still going on next year. It's like, how long is this 25th anniversary? How long is it? Now it doesn't say on here, like how many cards are included. Uh, I guess I can, I can check it out here. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's available on TCG yet. I just happen to get a, a, like a, a day early. I mean, it doesn't list all of it, but I'm seeing up to 163. At least, quite a lot. And some of the high value pulls we kind of mentioned already is that number 90 Galaxy Eye Proton Lord at a whopping $24.05. We have the Chaos Emperor of the Dragon Armageddon, uh, another whopping $23.15. And of course, the, uh, the ultra rare of the silver version, I guess, of the Proton Lord at $22. Not great value, so uh, for a collector, Kinda, kinda, it's kinda sucky. I don't know. Let, let, let me know how you guys feel about this, but I don't have very much high hopes for this. All right, we have a we have a secret rare. I'm gonna lay that face down in defense mode. Let's go check out that die. Oh, that, that's kind of messed up. Is that right? They didn't even wrap it up. Like, if you guys remember the die, they used to be in like a plastic wrap. They didn't even do that anymore. That's, that is so lazy, Konami. Wow. Wow, it's, it's like the, the fact that it's not wrapped up, you can easily get scratched up. That is annoying. 
Look, it's already scratched up. Wow, that is some bull diggity. All right, <laughs> I am mad. I am mad. The one thing that, that I really wanted from this was the, uh, the dye, but the fact they don't wrap it up, it's going to make it so scratched up. But yeah, they come with two packs. Uh, I guess let's check it out before we open up that uh, that secret rare. What the hell, Konami? What the hell? All right, I'm not sure what the card trick is to this, so we're just going to go from the front here. All right, we have the Elemental Hero Chaos Neo. So it's going to be a bunch of comments, obviously, in the, in the forefront. We have the Living Fossil. The um, uh, Celestial Light Sworn Angel, I believe. The Elemental Hero Nova Master. The Black Whirlwind. The Fellas Light Sworn Archer. And we have an ultra rare here. I'm going to put that to the back. Um, the Ward Light Sworn Beast. The Preparation of Rites. The Giraffe, I guess. Giraffe. <laughs> Light Sworn Warrior. The Hero Lives. The number 84 Pain Gainer. It's all about that pain and like, like that poor die. <laughs> the TG Gear Zombie. Uh, there's a lot of cards I haven't like seen before in a while. The Elemental Hero Neo's Knight. The White Moray. The Elemental Hero Sunrise. All right, let's get into the uh, ultra rare here. So we do have a ultra rare rupture. Let's check out that price first. Number 25. Not too shabby actually. $2.73 for this ultra rare. Our next is gonna be a secret rare. This is the Harpy's Perfumer. I do remember this from like the the what is it called? The Legendary Duelist season two, I believe. Maybe in season three. I'm pretty sure it's season two. Number 41. Not too shabby. So they're saying the silver version. What does that even mean? The silver version. I think I, I'm thinking this is the silver version because it's an ultra rare, which, which means that there's a gold and a silver. They're both classified as ultra rares, but I do have a silver at the top. So I'm guessing this is the, the less of the viable ones, at least for this one. $3.87. Is that classified as a silver one? I don't know. I guess. I thought it was a secret rare, but I guess it's not really a secret rare. And then we have another one, the the gimmick puppet nightmare. I'm guessing also silver. <laughs> Number 40. Yeah, three dollars and ninety-nine cents. So I guess you want to get the gold version. Because uh, they have that gold one, obviously, at the top, and then a silver at the top. I thought, I thought it might have been a secret rare, but if it's a secret rare, I think it'll be more glimmery than this. So, yeah, it's not quite secret. This, however, is a secret. Yep, that is definitely secret. This is the Time Lord Projector Volgate, I guess. And you can tell it's secret because of the glimmer on, the, on it. I could probably take it off the wrapper but I don't want to right now. <laughs> Not too shabby, $8.97 for this secret rare. Now, will it hold to that value? Probably not. If, if it's already $8 and it hasn't even been released yet, yeah, that's not, that's not good. That's not good as a collector. And you also ruined my die. All right, let's so open up our second pack here from this first, uh, what is it called? Uh, not really display, uh, I forget the name of it, but uh, case, I guess, I don't know. Well, definitely, it's definitely not a case, but yeah. All right, we have the Time Stream. The Dark Spell Regeneration. We have the Gold Moon Coin. The Sonic Stun. Straight stunning. We have the Elemental Hero Neos uh, Atalus. 
the Raiden Hand of the Light Sworn. We have the Raid Raptor Rudder Strix. The Denko Shinka. We have the Forest. What is? Oh yeah, I, I said that was a scratch on there. We have the uh, Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. We have the Specimen uh, Inspection. I went ahead and put my uh, secrets face down for now. We have the Dimension or Different Dimension Ground. The Vision Hero Gravito. The TG Metal Skeleton. The number S39, Utopia the Lightning. So not the Utopia card we want. And then the Iron Draw. All right, let's pull our first silver ultra rare. <laughs> number 30, uh, sorry, number 54, Lionheart. Silver ultra rare. I don't know why they come with these like weird rarities. Just say ultra rare. Okay, 37, right? Yeah. All right, silver, not giving me a, a difference, but I'm gonna say it's about the same. So $3.97 for this one. And then our next silver card, ooh. I think this is the Judgment Dragon. He talked about that in the, the little promo. I wonder if that's gonna be worth anything. Number 12. Number 12 silver. <laughs> no, it does not. $1.88. Why mention it in a promo if, you're not, if it's not valuable? <laughs> and our, I guess our first gold ultra rare, which is the traditional ultra rare, is the number 77, the Seven Sins. Cool card, cool card actually. $3 and, and 67 cents. So as a collector, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like confused of like, if I should keep these cards or just go ahead and sell it off. Like, I don't see a value in these cards like five, 10 years down the road. I really don't. And uh, that's kind of unfortunate as a collector because uh, you, you want to be excited to open up cards. But I guess if you're like looking for bits and pieces for your, your meta decks, or I don't even know if any of these are meta related or if they're more nostalgic related, but uh, I'm not seeing any nostalgic cards that I can see right now. Um, but yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know. Like, is this like a, one of those like waste of waste of a sets that they, they released? Cause when they, when I saw the announcement for like chapter one, I, thought, oh, I was kind of like, oh crap, chapter one, which means we're, we're going to see chapter two. We're going to see chapter three, maybe more. I don't know, but uh, I wasn't very excited about the, the announcement of that. All right. Just come up with a regular battle legends. So speaking of the regular battle legends, we will actually open up some right now. So I'm gonna open up the older sets here. We have the Brothers of Legend and the uh, and the Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge. So let's open up this bad boy right here. I still got a bunch of these as well, as I mentioned. I think it's uh, two to the front. All right, we have the Drowned Magician. And I think I did the card trick wrong, so I'm gonna put that to the back. <laughs> we have the Right hand shark. The Phantom Knights of Ragged Gloves. And then the FAI Iting <laughs> Spirit. I, I kind of like that name actually. That's kind of an interesting name. And our secret rare from this one is the Ulta Guys Fuja Alert, I think. Check out that price real quick. The one thing I will say, it looks hella faded though. What the hell? But then again, I had this like card for where this all always sits for a very long time. So with all all the moving and transportation and holding it for so long, it's, it probably just naturally faded. Wow. <laughs> Only 19 cents for this secret rare. That's terrible. Out of curiosity, was any of these ultra rares worth anything? Wow, they were all terrible actually. <laughs> That's the one thing I will say about the Brothers of Legends. I don't think it was, a, it was a very popular set when it first came out. All right, let's go to the Monstrous Revenge though. Let's see if that, would, that has some monstrous results. 
And I want to say that the Birds of, Le Birds of Legend was kind of like voted one of the worst sets of, I want to say it was 2020 when it came out, maybe 2021. All right, we have the uh, Blackwing uh, Sharnga of the Wailing Moon, I think. We have the Artatama. The Sage of the Wizard, uh, Himmet. And then we have for, for, uh, Performer Pal, Odd Eye Butler. And a Secret Rare of the Ooze Giant. Probably not worth much either, I bet. Also not very well for a Secret Rare. 12 cents. Ooh. If, if I was to do a, like a, like a versus with those two, I, I wonder who would win because uh, that's, that's bad right now. I, I pulled two Secret Rares and all terrible. So, out of curiosity, just check out on the secret, uh, the, super, the ultras here. Yeah, they were all, they're also equally terrible as well. Wow. So, like, imagine that, guys. We we have the we have the previous legend cards, and they're all terrible. So, like, that that shows like no faith in the chapter one. Like, who actually is buying this? I don't know. Um, but, I mean, the dies are cool, but the fact they don't like protect those dies. Is it even worth getting the dies? All right, what die did we get today? Did we get the Luster Soldier die? No, we got the same exact die. Equally scratched up as well. Equally scratched up. All right, we have our Secret Rare. We'll leave that there for now. All right, let's open up this pack and see what disaster we get. <laughs> we have the Celestia. Saw that earlier as well. The Hibernation Dragon. The Weathering Soldier. We're trying to weather through this as well. The Fossil uh, Dragon. The Cactus Bouncer. The Fossil Warrior Skull King. The number C92 uh, Health Earth Chaos Dragon. The Galaxy Soldier. Galaxy Soldier. The number 27. Okay, we're gonna put our Silver Ultra Rares down here. We have the Waterfront. The uh, Dragonic uh, Diagram. The, uh, what's it called? The uh, Cyber Emergency. The Phantom Knight of the Ancient Cloaks. The uh, sp Spiral Double Helix. And the Born from Draconis. Constellation. All right, let's pull our, our first silver card. The uh, Minerva, the Exalted Light Sworn. This one is actually pretty decent. Really decent, actually. $7.24. So not too shabby for that one. Our next one is the Security Dragon. Let me get a guess here. I'm gonna say $3.12. Uh, 43, did we get close to that? Really close actually, $3.98, so a little bit higher. So I didn't go over. And then our gold ultra, oh, okay, we got this one already. The number 77, the seven cents. And price, of course, annotated there, thanks to the editors. All right, before we roll into that one, let's go ahead and open up another one of these. We're gonna open up another Brother of Legends. Maybe they'll redeem us. You know, the, the funny thing about the Brother of Legends, like, I've been opening a bunch of these packs, but I haven't pulled anything great from it. Like, at all. Like, at all. Uh, I'm gonna change right now, I'm just kidding. Um, we have the White Mirror. The Left Hand Shark, which we know wasn't worth much at all either. And then we have the AI Snow. The Red Eyes Fusion. And finally, 
the uh, Centaur Mina. Secret rare. Can this be above 12 cents? We'll see. <laughs> it does, but 21 cents. Wow, what is up with the bro- Is there anything good in this set? Let me, let me actually do that real quick. Okay, there's only like, realistically, three good cards from the Brazil Legends. Only three. And the rest are about $5 or less. That's also pretty sad. I mean, there's still some chase cards from it though. So maybe you'll get lucky. Let's go to the Maximum Gold El Dorado. I know a lot of people don't like the, the gold cards, but I actually enjoy the gold cards for the most part. All right, we have the Code Talker Inverted. The number 81 uh, Super Dreadnought Rare Cannon Super Dora. Celestal Paul told me M7. The Guardian of the Golden Land. The Baby Saurus. And our gold card here, the Prank Kids Place. See, it looks cool. Like, uh, I like the, the idea of it. But is that, is that a very good playable card? And it's also very hard to grade these cards because it gets scratched up very, very easily. Unless you sleeve it up almost instantaneously. All right, let's look at the prank kids. Also guys, if, if, if you want me to do like a, like a golden, maximum golds, like versus as well, let me know in the comments um, or, or what it will be a good set for a uh, maximum gold versus. All right, this one is only 17 cents. And now the next is the Book of Moon. This one is 89 cents, so not quite enough to get me any real gold. All right, let's head back to the Battle of the Legends chapter one. I'm very curious to see like how many chapters they're, they're playing on game because like obviously not, not much people, because even though I was, I was talking to some of my, uh, the, the people that own the card shops and, and, and people that are oh, the collectors that I, I frequent and stuff like that, they, they aren't excited for this set. Like they really, they really aren't like, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised it's anyone that's really gonna buy this set. There's not any chase cards really that are super great. Maybe that Utopia card, I guess, Astral, but do people even really want that? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, it's, if, if it's playable, it's not playable. Like, I don't see the value in that Astral card. All right, uh, the Skull Bone. To be honest, I'll be very surprised if we do see a chapter two, like very, very soon. Like if they're gonna try to do that like this year or not. Now this card is pretty nostalgic, but I'll reveal that later. But only for my own personal reasons, because I use it a lot in, uh, in Duel Links. And then number 80, the Pain Gainer. Still gaining that pain. The White Aura Dolphin. The Sunrise. And the files of the Kaju. The stream Synchron. All right, our first of the silver cards is Destiny Hero Malicious. Now, if you're a Destiny Hero fan, it's probably gonna be kind of cool to, you know, relive some of the, your Destiny cards or even the, the, the elemental ones as well. All right, this one, actually pretty decent. The silver one's actually worth more. Um, this one is $4.48. Not too shabby, but again, these, these just came out. So retaining the value is gonna be one of those things where like, is it gonna retain? Now this, this car, as I said, is very nostalgic for me because I use it a lot in Duel Links when I have my, my Blue Eyes deck. The Sage with Eyes of Blue, number 14. And it's also silver, which is uh, kind of like, makes sense for this card. Decent too, four dollars and forty-eight cents. So this is probably the only card I'm really, really excited about, which is kind of sad. All right, our ultra rare is called the Quick Launch, and this is two dollars and seventy-nine cents. So the silver card is definitely going to be worth more to some degree on certain cards because uh, it just looks nicer with a silver font for an ultra rare. I don't know. You got to be really picky about your, your cards at that point. All right, we do get this secret rare. 
Number 11, Big Eye. So that's uh, essentially one of the, the, the dye that I got, the Big Eye. But who really wants the Big Eye? <laughs> that's a terrible dye. Hopefully I, get, hopefully I get a different color dye in my next one. I'd be pretty mad if I don't get a, a different dye. But let's see the price of this one, the Big Eye. Worth decently though, $8.97. So I'm just gonna read it real quick. Uh, it requires two level seven monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, then target one monster from your opponent that your opponent controls. You take control of that monster, and then this card cannot attack the turn the effect was activated. That's actually kind of cool. So you basically can uh, hypnotize them to join your party. So I can see why that, that, that that's going to be useful in in battle, in the duels. All right, we still got uh, two, we got two more boxes of this. Come on, give me a different die. Different die. If it's the same exact die and, and, and I get the big eye again, I'm just gonna quit right now. Ooh, it's a, it's a different die. What is it? Yes, the black luster die. Now that was the one. Now this is the one I was definitely trying to get. Let me see if I can make it less blurry for you guys. But this is the one that I was really trying to get. That is cool. Obviously, you know, a regular die. The only thing that's different is, of course, this one. The one that matters. It doesn't look like it's terribly damaged. So I'm happy about that. That's the only one that I really wanted. Does anyone want a big eye die? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. All right, secret rare, we're gonna keep it there. All right, let's open. We're probably gonna kind of fast travel through a lot of the, the commons. Only because uh, we really don't care about the comments. We really don't care. We have the Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger. Vision Hero Prisoner. The Fossil Dragon. Another Fossil Dragon. The Skull Version. The Apparition. The Cactus Bouncer. Save that one for later. Preparation of rights. Number number 75. The mystical beast the forest. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool card. I'll save that one for later. That one also looks kind of cool as well. The assault black wing. The solar recharge. Specimen Inspection. Elemental Hero Gaia, the Fierce Knight. I'm just kidding, not the Fierce Knight. The Stream, stream uh, Synchron, the, the Double Helix is the final of the commons. All right, so we'll actually start with the Ultra this time. This one is the Radiant, the Multidimensional Kanju. So I remember seeing this one a long time ago, but I do remember seeing this one. See number 35. Let me see. So this is $3.73. The silver version is actually worth a little bit more. Just a little bit. All right, this one is U U Ubel. Ubel. Looks cool though, like it looks very cool. 27. The silver version, $4.54. So the the gold ultra rare is worth more. So just buy a little bit. And the card that I oohed on is the Cyber Dragon. Now the reason why I oohed on this is because I do have a Ghost Rare version of this card, which I did pull a long time ago, but it was still nostalgic for me. And this is the Silver Ultra Rare version. Number 20, $3.99. So not as high as, what I would hope, as I would hope. But then again, it's not gonna be worth more, of course, than, a, than that uh, Ghost Rare. Let's go open up some more packs here. We do have another of the Battles of Legends. I got a lot, like, a lot of miscellaneous packs that I haven't, you know, loose packs I haven't opened up that I don't really want to do in a one pack pull, but you know, doing it here. The Resurgrim XE. Especially if the, the, if the cards are like these prices, I definitely want to use that one as a one pack pull. Because what's the point? Unless you get that really, really cool card, I don't see the point of like opening of these as a one pack pull. Uh, this, the inference, I guess. And a Silent Sea Nizzle. 
So this was a cute car. It's, it's uh, one of the Karibos. Um, it looks like an almost Christmas theme-ish too, which would make sense because it did come out around the holidays that one year. Number 64, 44 cents. So not quite legendary on these ultra rares. All right, I got an another miscellaneous pack here. As I talked about the Metal Raiders, living up to another reprint. I got a bunch of these I haven't opened up as well. Speaking of Metal Raiders though, speaking of Metal Raiders, um, I do have a full box of Metal Raiders that I do want to open up in due time, in due time. Um, because I, if you guys, last year I did like a, a Legend of Blue Eyes uh, 25th anniversary, part one and part two, but I kind of stopped there, but I definitely want to go into the next set, which is of course Metal Raiders, which is also very nostalgic for me as well. Because we have the Ancient Brain, the Bottom Dweller, the Blast Juggler, the Deep Sea Shark, the Metal Thunderball, the Guma, the Batik Moth. We have the rare of the Hoshinjin, I guess. And we do pull like crazy, not crazy, but like uh, like, a, like a good card from the from the set. Um, the ultra rare of the Solomon Judgment. I'm curious to see what the value is for, for the MRD version of this because we did pull a, a nice one in a previous set. Ooh, <laughs> that's actually really high. $8.62, so that is really good. That is very good actually, wow. I'm actually surprised about that one. Pleasantly surprised. And I have, I, I said, a lot more of the Ultra, oh, sorry, the uh, Metal Raider. So that'll be a future unboxing sometime down the road. All right, let's go finish this off. So Crusaders of the Edimon. The High Speed Roy Kit Drake. The Elevator Hero Honest Neo. The Vision Hero Multiply Guy. This uh, satellite can f uh, Falcon. The extra hero cross crusader. Ultra, we're gonna save that for later. The rocket. The Kojin. The white aura behemoth. I usually give it like enough time to like for the camera to, to fresh up, but uh, sometimes I just wanna, gotta move on to the next card. The hero lives, the rubber band shooter. And you can always pause it. If you, if you really wanna read it, you can always pause it. Um, but I try to you know leave enough time so it doesn't look too blurry when you do pause it. The dangerous, the wingman. Looks pretty cool actually. I like the, the artwork on this one. And the Lambda. You know, if I'm blocking it, I apologize. All right, first silver card is the Ubel, the Ultimate Nightmare. Now this would have made sense in the, uh, what is it called, the Nightmare Packs. What is it called, Nightmare? Phantom Nightmare. Silver version, $4.36. Not too shabby. The next is the ultra rare, the number 54 Lionheart Gold. This is $3.97. And the final of the silver one is the Sky Striker Maneuver Afterburners. $3.44. All right, the secret rare is the Elemental Hero Absolute Zero. That shot looks kind of cool, actually. Wow, that's actually really nice. It's like the, the highest card we, we got so far. So it's a very, very surprising. So I wasn't expecting this one to come out. Um, $12.58 for this one. So this is, this is a shocker. This is a shocker. So I want to say I'm pleasantly surprised or pleasantly happy to get it, but I'm definitely happier than I started. <laughs> All right, our final box, our final box 
Do we get a cool die? I got the I got the die that I want. So the only other die I want to get maybe is a cyber dragon. Maybe. Maybe that green die as well. Pretty cool. Okay, what do we get? We got the blue die. So at least it's different. Not the one I was looking for. I forget who this one is. Um, I, I, I've definitely seen it before. I just forgot who the... <laughs> I was going to say Pokemon, but I don't know. Who's that Pokemon? Um, I was going to say who's that... Uh... That, uh, that uh, card. But I've seen it before though. I don't know, let me know in the comments. But at least I have three different dies. And they're all, well, I don't know. This sucks that some of them are scratched up. All right, our final secret rare. We'll definitely save that for the end. And then we do have our last two packs of the Battle of Legends, chapter one. Thanks again guys for tuning in. Obviously, you guys are awesome. So definitely press a like for luck. Uh, maybe we'll get that astral card. I don't know. The flame. Oh, it's a, it's a Sai flame driver. We saw this card already. Glorious numbers, which a glorious purpose. Vision here, Trinity. But yeah, uh, definitely let me know in the comments. Like, are you guys excited for any of these comments at all? Like, I don't know. Is it worth getting? Is it worth getting? That's the that's the question that everyone wants to know. But I personally, as a collector, I don't think so. I really don't think so. It's not it, it's not uh, enough of an attraction for me to spend a lot of money on these cards. So I will definitely save it for the next set. The Water of Light. The Neo Galaxy I Proton Dragon. A fossil fusion. The Raid Raptor final evolution. I'm just kidding. The gingerbread house. Okay. Uh, that, that, that was funny. That was fun. The high rate draw is the final common. All right. Our first of the silver cards is the uh, Border Sword uh, Dragon. That is three dollars and thirty-three cents. So that's this is actually an alternate artwork. Yeah, this is actually alternate art. That's uh, that's pretty cool. So three dollars and thirty-three cents for the alternate art. All right, our next silver card is another of the U Bell cards, but this one is a Terrace uh, Terror Incarnation. So even more nightmarish. That one is four dollars and twenty-three cents. And then the final. Oh, we got we got this one already. But this is the gold version of the of that dragon of the alternative arts. This one is 19. That is three dollars and ninety-nine cents. So the silver card is actually worth more. All right, let's finish off. We have a couple more miscellaneous packs. Let's do this Monsters Avenge um, pack right here. Maybe we'll get something cool from the alternative packs from this opening. All right, we have the XC Bento. Bento, like Bento beans, but not really. The the Waning Moon, we saw this one earlier as well. The Ghost a Sleeper of the Under, Underworld Prince or Princess, right? Yeah, Princess. The Praying Mantis. And a Secret Rare of the Assault Synchron. I wonder if that was worth anything. All right, number three. Actually, this is actually really good. And as I said, one of the better set up cards for the Monsters of Venge. This one is $5.46. Not too shabby for that one. All right. Obviously, we have one more of this and of course, that secret rare that we're keeping. So we're gonna open up this last pack, guys. That's no drill. Press a like for luck. We will get something cool in this final pack magic. The gold moon coin. The Manifestation. The uh, Soma Great. The Cyber Etonin, I guess. I'm a zero. Can't pronounce that, so I'm not gonna try. <laughs> the Lumina. The TG Drill Fish. Number 27 of the Dreadnoughts. 
the Vision Hero Witch Raider. We have the Blackwing Chris of the Crack of Dawn. <laughs> That's a funny name. The Vision Hero Gravito. We have the Rainstorm. The Kaju Files. The Lila. And the Sunrise. Even though I'm recording this in the dead of night. All right, our first of the Silver Ultra Rare is the Miracle Rupture, which we saw earlier. All right, $2.73 for this one. All right, we're gonna go with the, the Ultra Rare Gold version. This is the um, Extra Hero Wonder Driver. Okay, not too shabby though, $4.47. And the final of their silver cards is Ryu, because this is one of the cards they mentioned in the promo. The Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon. Silver. Now we, 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 didn't, we didn't get much luck with the other promo card that was mentioned. But let's see what, how much this, this is. Number 26. <gasps> wow, really? Ooh, hell yeah, guys. Finally. We pulled something significant. <laughs> $23.15 for this bad boy right here of the Armageddon. Final pack magic for sure. Wow. And we still got that secret rare. So that's definitely, definitely a keeper. Grade worthy? Probably not. I, I don't really plan on grading any of these cards. But yes, our final card of the secret rare variant is... Oh, we caught, we got this one already, damn it. Elements of here, absolute zero. But I think it, this is still worth a decent amount of money though. Number four, yeah, still decent, $12.58. So with the fact that we have two of these, that's decent, I guess. So the only card that's higher than the uh, Cyber, oh sorry, uh, the Chaos Emperor mm -hmm. is the number 90 Galaxy Eye Proton Lord. We didn't get a chance to pull the Black Wizard Soldier, so that might be something to maybe inspire me to pull more of these but yeah not not the greatest uh collector set but it is a set nonetheless but if you guys want to see more of this let me know in the comments down below but real quick um we saw a bunch of the the duds for the battle of legends as well as the brothers of legends these two sets right here but i do have a bunch extra packs of this even though some of the cards we did see weren't super high value there are some cards from these sets that are actually decently priced uh, but we might be surprised. That might be the reason why I kept these packs for so long. And uh, we could probably do a, uh, a pretty epic versus from these two sets in the coming future. Definitely leave a comment down below. Like, what is your favorite Battle of Legends set? Uh, my personal f favorite was, of course, the Armageddon set um, because I, I pulled the, the 10,000 Dragon. So, you know. But I never got a chance to actually do a video. The reason why that set is like my most favorite is because not only did I pull that pack, it kind of inspired me to do like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon unboxings as well. So that kind of reinvigorated my, my love for the collectible market. Um, but yes, that is it. Was it a dud? Was it great? Was it worth getting? My personal opinion, not really. Like, if you, unless you really love dyes, go for it. Or if you really like some of these cards that, that you've seen here, um, go for it. But my personal take as a, as a collector, I, I would, uh, it's probably a skip, it's probably a skip. But anyway, that's my personal opinion. Love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for the view. Obviously, comment section is there for you guys to rant and talk and say how, how idiotic I am or how great my hair is, I don't know. But anyway, love you guys, I'll see you there. My name is Talos. This was, of course, the Battle of Legends Chapter One. And we'll definitely see you next time. Peace.